This is terrible. In the best possible way. I know. Kristen told me about it. Apparently, bug fighting is huge in Japan. Pretty sure it's their national pastime. That tarantula is killing it right now. Hey, I'm gonna go get some chicken fingers from the snack bar. You want? No, no, wait, what are you doing? You're gonna miss the end. What? No, no, no. I'll be back in time for the main event. Some weird lobster creature fighting a centipede. Super gross. Be back. Very funny. Sock, stop! Aha. We move in on Sam Oliver, curious, confused, and now irritated. <laughs> Oh, man, it's amazing. Fits right in the palm of your hand. And the resolution, unbelievable. Yes, I've seen a video camera before. Ah, but have you seen this? Please, help me! Please! Oh, oh. Oh. Is this thing working? <laughs> what was that? Oh, I'm just futzing around, you know, trying to get the hang of the camera. No, no, that thing, what was it? Oh, that's your latest soul, Mordecai Nash. Real nasty piece of work. He used to lure people to the Dove Hollow silver mine, promising them to strike it rich, and he'd kill them and take their money. So he's back as that tentacle thing? He's got his hands on everything in Dove Hollow, just like he did in life. I want you to get out there, Sammy. I want you to grab that guy ASAP. Just look at it as a working vacation. You know, it's a beautiful little town. See for yourself. All right, well, if I have to go out there, maybe I could take Andy and the guys, make a road trip out of it. There you go. That would be great. Now, here's a little cherry for your Sunday. You're gonna love this vessel. <laughs> huh? Is that badass or what? You don't even have to get close to the thing. You just lob that baby and watch the party. Okay, yeah, this could be good. A little vacation. <laughs> Oh, oh, please tell me we're gonna see a scorpion fight that thing. Cool grenade. together every second. I know, it was amazing. Uh, I actually uh, have some errands to run. Oh, today, cool. So. Cool, I like errands. It's not really something that I need company for. I'm, I'm just gonna get my hair cut. What else? Uh, I'm probably gonna get something to eat. Okay, cool, I like eating. Do you like to eat llamas? Because I'm gonna eat a live llama. Okay, babe, you can run your errands by yourself today. Just. Call me whenever you can. Oh, also, I took the liberty of changing your cell phone plan so we can talk to each other whenever we want for as long as we want. I gotta go. Okay. 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 Unlimited minutes, sweetie, okay? Don't let them go to waste. Nina! What are you doing here? Oh. Hey. Did Sam ask you to go on this trip with him? Yeah. Ben asked me to go too. It sounds like a lot of fun, right? I don't really want to go, though. How should I tell him? Well, how come you don't want to go? I just, I need to be away from Ben right now. I'm a solitary creature. Is everything okay? Everything's great. Ben is great. He's just, he's always there, staring at me, telling me how beautiful I am. Ben is adorable, and I really, really like him, but, um, He's just a little clingy, <laughs> sometimes. Kind of makes me want to rip out his internal organs and show them to him. You know? I mean, not really, but you know what I mean. Look, Ben is just a sensitive guy, which isn't a bad thing. Just be honest with him. All right, honest. Ugh. I guess I'm just used to dating guys from hell. You know, I mean, they treat you like crap, but at least it's exciting. Oh, but who am I talking to? You know all about dating bad boys. 
Uh, Sam isn't exactly a bad boy. Okay, but he's the son of the devil, so... <laughs> I mean, he's gotta be a little bit evil, right? It's sort of in his nature. Just like the way I have French. This town is dead. Good, means we gotta pick a rooms at the hotel. Wanna get something to eat? Yes, I'm starving. Let's go check in, come on. for two nights. Um, one for Sam and Andy, and one for Ben. And uh, then there's me and you, so... Well, I only have three rooms upstairs, each with one bed. Ah, uh, oh, one bed, that's unfortunate. But uh, I'm, I'm okay with it, if you're okay with it. Only if you don't steal the covers, big bro. Uh, uh, no promises, little sis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna snatch those covers right off you and tickle you all night. <laughs> Uh, it's my sister. The room should be ready by supper time. You two ever been up this way? Nope, but I love it already. Well, you should take your sister to the silver mine. It's quite a sight. I've never been to a mine before. Let's go. Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe. Hello? Oh, uh, hey. Good afternoon. Can I get you guys something? Uh, yeah. Can we get a couple sandwiches? Chicken for me, please? Yeah, I'll have the same. Coming right up. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Just passing through? Uh, actually, no, we're staying for the weekend. You know, getting out of the city for a while. This is just the place to do it. The most beautiful town you'll ever see. Thanks. You know what you guys should do while you're here. What's that? Check out the mine, just up the hill. You want us to go to the mine? Absolutely. It's the best part about visiting Dove Hollow. You'll never see anything else like it. I have a map right here, if you'd like. I'm just sitting here thinking about you. I hope you're doing well. I wish you were here. I miss you so much. Smooch. Talking to your girl. Uh, <laughs> Just trying to get her to come up here. Well, if she makes it out here, you should take her up to the old silver mine. Women love that place. You kids will have the time of your lives up there. Hey, guys. You know what the guy at the bar just told me to do? What? Visit the mine. Yeah, that's what the lady in the diner said, too. Yo. Hey, where's Kristen? Taking a tinkle. Also, the uh, creepy hotel guy is trying to kill us. He told us to go down to the mine. Same thing happened to us. Town's in on it. It must be feeding it. OK, we have to go right now. I only have a vessel that can capture one soul. We can't fight a whole town. Good enough for me. Where's my car? I saw it when I walked into the bar. We're trapped. Hi, um, I'd like to report a stolen car. Hippie car? Hybrid? Oh. It wasn't stolen. I had it towed. Parked in a loading zone. So, uh, when can we get it back? Impound lots closed now. You could try back tomorrow. No, no, uh, we were really hoping to hit the road today. Well, what's your rush to leave our little town? It's a beautiful place. Most perfect place in the world. Come on, relax. Stay a while. We have beautiful sunsets. You know, my dad used to say, sunset is like God kissing the world goodnight. Mm -hmm. 
My daddy was a preacher, a big fire and brimstone into the world kind of guy. Mm -hmm. You believe in hell? Uh, well, I, I, I don't really know. Um, I, I like to focus on the here and now. Mm -hmm. Okay, you boys, enjoy your visit. Yep. Yeah. So I'm leaving a message. Again, um, I, we're sort of trapped here, but I don't want you to get worried. I really miss you, and I can't wait to see you. Okay, C call me, okay? Hey, Ben. Hey. Ben, how often would you say you call Nina? Oh, depends. Every couple of hours, or every hour, or sometimes on the half hour. What? OK, you know, don't take this the wrong way, because I think it's great that you're so attentive and loving. But sometimes girls just need space. Did she say something to you? Well, you know, the word clingy might have come up. Clingy? She called me clingy? Damn! I got to call her to make sure everything's no, OK. No, 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 no. You know what? Maybe we should just turn this off for a while. There are miles and miles of tunnels, and they're all underneath the city. It's going to be impossible to find this thing. You know what? Forget it. This was a dumb idea. We can't nab this thing now. I mean, maybe I can sweet talk the devil into letting this one go. Sweet talk the devil, huh? I mean, you do that? Not well, but I try. Hey. Thirsty? Uh... Got it from the hotel. Also have some crackers. Sam, you know, I, I just really don't think this is the time. Oh, no, I promised you a romantic weekend. There's no reason we can't enjoy ourselves a little bit. Um... Hold on. Ugh. No corkscrew. Mm -hmm. Um, maybe. What are you doing? Every now and then, I get this weird devil power. I can't really control it. It usually pops up when a soul's trying to kill me. But I was thinking, maybe I, I could. Damn it! What? You're getting pretty comfortable with all of this, aren't you? Comfortable with what? Capturing souls, devil powers, I mean, being the son of Satan. What are you talking about? You know, about? it just, you know, it seems like none of this even bothers you anymore. Andy, how can you say that? OK, we're having a picnic in front of a, a monster lair. Well, I have to wonder if you're getting sucked into the lifestyle. I'm not getting sucked into anything. I have no choice. That's starting to sound like an excuse, Sam. I knew it. What? <sighs> I thought he would be cool and let me have one decent weekend away. Who? The devil. He's always screwing me. He promised this great weekend, and I actually believed him. I'm an idiot. Sam? No! Damn it! This is not fair! Did you just do that? No. Yeah, I don't... I don't know. OK, you know, we should just head back. I'm so sorry about the whole one bed thing. That's nonsense. But, uh... I think we'll make do, right? Oh, oh. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Ah, sorry. Uh, hey, look, in there, you know what they don't have that we need is ice cubes. Really badly, because I cannot drink warm water. Do you think maybe, maybe you can go scrounge a little up for us? OK. Downstairs. Take your time. No, you don't. You are not ruining this for me. Oh, yeah. You can fly, cut. You want to fly? Come here. Uh, suck it, cut! Uh. Oh. No ice machine. What? Ah, oh, that's okay. It's bedtime anyway. What's that noise? 
Noise? I, I, I don't know. I, I, maybe someone having a phone conversation in the other room? Could be anything. Don't, don't. <clears throat> Did you throw that cot down there? What? Why? Why would I? That's, no, no, that's crazy. You did that on purpose, so that we'd have to sleep together in the same bed. Oh, mm, true, yes. You told me you would protect me, protect my virginity. I was protecting it. For yourself, Sock. This is terrible. Is it, is it terrible? I don't know, I don't think so, Kristen. I mean, think about it, can, can you deny that we have a connection? A brother and sister connection. We're not actually related, okay, Kristen, I mean, if you had met me any other way, doing anything, like if we were paintballing, scuba diving, hang gliding, I don't know, you, you would think of me in a different way, admit it. No, I would not. Oh. Okay, uh, I'm, I'm really sorry. I, I, yeah, okay, uh, I'm sorry. I'm women. Like a, like a mystery wrapped inside of a mystery wrapped inside of a third mystery. You know what I mean? Unreal. I get two more of those. Also, can I have a wine cooler, but put it in a beer glass, make it look extra manly? One manly wine cooler coming up. Is this it taken? Um, no. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Kristen. Yeah, I know. Hi, I'm Kristen. Hi, I'm Sock. <laughs> what? Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. I get it, okay, are, are, are we pretending that we're just meeting right now, like, randomly at the bar? I like it, okay, I like it, that's hot. Uh, okay, if we were <clears throat> meeting at the bar right now, I would probably try and pick you up on my best line. Okay. Okay? Pick me up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes? Hi, I think you're standing on my penis. I'm not sure I understand, but it sounds charming. Mm. <laughs> Sock? I have had thoughts, thoughts about you. I was raised to push my feelings away and follow rules, but you don't follow rules. Rules are for a-holes. One bed in the room will be fine. All right. Well, we're talking Chris and I mean, they know we're leaving, right? Oh, sleeping, I guess. I knocked on the door and no one answered. Wake him up. I'm getting my car and then we're getting out of here right now. The longer we stick around, the more likely something bad will happen. Morning. Morning. Uh, hey, uh... We were just coming to see you so we could pay the fine and get our car. Do you have any idea what happened here? I do not. Well, uh, since you and your friends are the only ones staying here, I'd say suspect pool pretty small. Mm. Oh, morning, friends. Sheriff. Yes, sir, is this your cot? Well, you know what? Yeah, it is. I don't care. I'll shout it from the rooftops. That. It's my cot! No, oh, no, no, that is not my cot! Huh? what's going on? He vandalized police property. Oh, is this really necessary? Degenerates! Last night, he shared a bed with his own sister. No, no, stepsister! It's the same thing. No, really, it's not. You make me sick! No, no, not sick! Healthy! You are a very healthy girl! You are so, we are so healthy! I'm gonna release your buddy on Wednesday. That should uh, give him enough time to learn his lesson. Uh, thank, thank you, sir. Yes. 
I want to ask you about something. I found that in your car. That? Uh, yes, uh, it's, it's a school project. Boring. A school project? A creative writing class. Well, that must be a great class. Escape souls of the devil and a hellish being right here in Dove Hollow. Now, that's exciting stuff. Thank you. Yeah. If only a publisher felt the same way, right? You know you can trust me. Yeah, I, I know I do. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm still gonna release your car to you. As an act of good faith. Does that sound good? Yeah. Thank you. But I want to reiterate anything you want to tell me. Anything at all. Door's always open. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay. Glad we got that all cleared up. Guess we're done here. You're free to go, Mr. Oliver. Thank you. Okay. You keep eating. You get yourself nice and garlicky. And we'll be back in a little while. Hey, you got the car back. What's the problem? Um, I'm leaving. I can't stay here anymore. I'll walk home. No, no, she's upset about Sock. No, no, Kristen, we have to stay here just a little longer until Sock gets out of jail. No, I'll take her, Sam. I got a couple things I gotta do anyway. Uh, yeah. All right, yeah, yeah, you guys should go back. And Kristen, why don't you go up and pack? Okay, yeah, so you guys will go ahead and me and Ben will wait here until Sock gets released. Guess so. Okay. I'm really sorry this weekend didn't turn out the way it was supposed to. It was never gonna be a vacation, Sam. And the soul was always your first priority. Why don't we just talk about this when I get back? I don't want you to worry about me, I'll be fine. Oh, I'm not worried. for my friends. They enjoy alcoholic beverages, so I thought they might be here. Oh, uh, three guys, two girls, kind of a funny bunch. Sounds right. Believe they're out and about, but you're welcome to wait here. Great. Thanks. I'll just have water. Coming right up. Hey, uh, you been out to see the mine yet? You should take a look. It's pretty amazing. No, thanks. I'm not here to sightsee, just surprising my boyfriend. Oh, so your friends aren't expecting you? Nope. So nobody knows you're here then? Probably not. Interesting. You're off. Beg your pardon? Something's wrong with you. You're not real. And you smell like hell. And you smell delicious. So, really, Kristen just left? She boogied out of here? Did she ask about me? She sent me a message with a bottle or a pigeon or no. something? No! We gotta focus, get you the hell out of here. We can go Shawshank. Shawshank. We smuggle in a rock pick and sock and dig his way out. That was a movie, Ben. It was based on a book. Yeah, didn't it take him like 20 years? You guys, we don't have 20 minutes. The sheriff could be here any second. All right, okay. Then we break the lock. Old school. Yeah, what does that mean? I'm gonna go borrow the pickaxe from the bar. Hey, uh, I was wondering if I could borrow something. That. What do you need that old thing for? I, uh, I just need to ax something. A hole, just for fun. Well, I'm not sure that's such a good idea. 
Uh, that thing's sort of an antique. Hey, this is Nina's purse. Hey, is my girlfriend here blonde, beautiful, a little intimidating? Yeah, I think I saw her. Oh. Not sure where she got off to. Cool. But on second thought, you can borrow my axe. Why, well, trust you? Why don't you come back here and take it down? Thanks. Stay away from you guys. He just wouldn't listen. I've been all alone with this thing, going on 10 years now. And some people started disappearing. They didn't just disappear, that thing ate them. And you fed them to it. Well, I had no choice. I did everything I could to stop people from coming here. I drove the locals out. I, I turned away whole busloads of tourists. Now look at this place. It's a ghost town. I've noticed. If I'm not here to stop it, then it might go on to the next town, the next state. And, I mean, do you have any idea what it's like to be stuck in a situation where you have to do something you don't want to do and there's no way out? Yeah. I know exactly what that's like. Um, is everybody in that town that thing? I mean, are they all tentacles? Yeah, it, it, it mimics people and it uses them like fishing lures and then takes everybody up the mine where it feeds. So why'd you decide to help us now? Well, when I read your devil folder, I figured maybe you're sent to help. I told you what it was. Now you tell me what you are. I saved your friend's life. Everything you saw in that folder, it's for real. I catch souls for the devil. Souls that have escaped from hell like the one in your mind here. Has anyone escaped from it? I mean, maybe that thing didn't eat Nina right away. Oh, no. Sorry, son. Takes everything in one big gulp. And she went down swiftly, right? Till digestion starts. If you're working for the devil, I hope you got a plan. Yeah. I'm gonna send it back to hell. With this. Well, that, that, that's just gonna make it angry. It's not a normal grenade, it's a vessel. I just need to get close enough to the soul to catch it. Okay. Nice. You know, I think I know how I can help. Gas? Now, the tricky thing about this creature is finding it. So, I'm gonna smoke it out. You're gonna be at the mine entrance, I'm gonna drive it to you. Good idea. You smell smoke yet? All I can smell is Kristen. She was like vanilla, boys. Vanilla. This is taking too long. Yeah. Screw it. What, what the hell are you doing, man? She's dead. Nina's dead. I have nothing to live for. Don't worry, I'll take care of this thing myself. No, Ben, you're being crazy. Come on. You're gonna get eaten in there. Listen, hey, listen. You were dating Nina for what, like three weeks? I, on the other hand, just lost a sister and a lover. I think if we stick together, we can make it through this as a team. You know what I mean? No, I'm not gonna find anyone else. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Doesn't matter. I mean, who's gonna want me? You bite your tongue, Benjamin. You bite your tongue till it bleeds in your mouth. You are a beautiful man on the outside and the inside. You got that, you got that smile that lights up a room, that laugh, that infectious <laughs> laugh. Yeah. I think I got that sexy Latin gaze that just pulls you in like a magnet from the mothership. You mean that? Benjamin Casper Perez Gonzalez, I could get lost in your ass for days. I'm not gonna apologize for that. You're right. You're right, I don't wanna die. I'm coming down, guys. <laughs> Let's go. Ah, beautiful battle! Oh, no! Whoa. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, ah! Oh, oh. 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 
We did it. We got the soul. And you're welcome. Wow. <laughs> this is a surprise. W what is? Well, I really didn't think uh, I'd see you guys again. I'm just very, uh, very surprised. <laughs> you didn't set the fire. No, I didn't. In fact, I warned the thing that you were coming. You what? Yeah, well, <laughs> it knew you were coming, and uh, you guys won out. You guys are damn good. Why would you do that? You see, these are my friends, my family. This little town, this little slice of heaven, is everything I have in this world. You know, I've been dating Millie going on uh, six years now. Dude, you're banging a tentacle? Please, don't talk about Millie like that. That's crude. Sheriff, you're crazy. Oh, here we go, good. You see, I don't like change. I like to keep things pure and simple. Oh. And the way I see it, if somebody has to die to preserve my way of life, that's the price of paradise. No! Ah, uh, I must be crazy. Forgot to load the damn thing. What are we gonna do? Let's run for the car, we can make it. Okay, good, we need a distraction. Benji, you run that way, scream like a maniac. When he chases you, we go back, get the car, come back around and rescue you, break. That's stupid, that's suicide. Oh, what, you're willing to kill yourself over some chick but you won't sacrifice yourself for your buddies? Okay, that, that's a good point. No, 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 that's a terrible point. We gotta go together. No! Oh! Ah! Uh, shotgun, it's... it'll be locked! No, man, the windows are wide open! No keys, no, bet there's no keys! What's with the negative energy now, Ben? You're looking right in the camera. You ever hear the fourth wall? The sheriff's trying to kill us. Yeah, him and his perfect town. Just like a David Lynch movie. I need something to defend myself. Well, all I have is this. No, th th it's a vessel. It doesn't work on people. It's more of a bargaining chip than a weapon, actually. But it's all you've got. There is a way out of this, Sam. And it starts right here. the beauty of this town. Not a lot of places to hide. Wait! You want your town back? You want your friends? They all still exist. I put them in here, and I can let them out again. Aren't you just full of surprises? Okay, 
Just let it out, and then I'll let you go. You're not gonna let me go? Well, oh, probably not. But I can make it quick, or I can draw it out. It's up to you. Come on, you don't have to do this. You spend so many years alone with that monster, it'd drive anybody crazy. You can, you can have a real life again. You just gotta walk away. Without that creature, without this town, I'd be all alone. You can get past that. Make new friends. Sheriff, there was a time when you tried to protect people from this thing. I know you used to be a good person. You can be that again. Uh, I've done too many bad things since then. Doesn't matter anymore. Nothing does. Which is why you'd really better do what I say. What the hell happened? I don't know. He's not a soul, he's a person. Nina, come on. All right? Keeping him alive is gonna be way worse than any punishment we can give him. He'll have to live with what he did. He'll be all alone. Help me! But yeah, if you just wanna throw him, you can do that too. So, you're indigestible. Apparently. That thing had three stomachs like a cow. I never made it past the first one. Nice exfoliation, though. Ah, uh, good for you. I get it. Get what? I get why you let him live. You want him to suffer. No. He gets to live because he's a human being. We don't kill human beings. But his existence will be terrible. You said so yourself. He's gonna live a life of excruciating pain and torture. It'll be hell on Earth. You're diabolical. No, I'm not. It's called justice, Nina. He did it to himself. No. You are. You're evil. <laughs> I find that very attractive. Benji? Sweetheart, are you here? Nina. Nina, baby, you're... You're alive! <gasps> Baby! You okay? You're alive! <laughs> I know it. I know you'll be okay. I'm so happy, baby. <laughs> yeah. Why are we whispering? Maybe Sock fell asleep. Wait, okay, all right. You can't you can't just ignore me. We have to talk about this. Wait, wait, Kristen, hold on. What 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 happened the other night? That was a good thing. That was a beautiful, natural thing. Kristen, look at me, please. Okay. I want you to just tell me what you're thinking right now. Okay? Be honest, it's okay. I feel ashamed. Ashamed. Oh, was it because of that? Sweet ass crazy move that I did the other night. That that is nothing to be ashamed of. You don't understand how I was raised. You don't understand my culture. How powerful shame is. Okay, yeah, you're right. I don't, I don't, I don't understand your culture. But I do understand that it created a beautiful, smart, funny girl. A girl who is in America now, by the way, a country that doesn't give a rat's ass about shame. It's kind of like the perfect clash of cultures we got going on here. Shame. Shamelessness coming together to create something more sexy than anybody could ever imagine. You're right. I will not allow my country to ruin this. Exactly. Let's go to our room. You got it. Hop on, come on. <laughs> We're going there. <laughs> Hi. Kristen. Hi. So it looks like you two have become friends. <laughs> we certainly have. 
We were uh, just on our way outside to play horsey. Do a little rough housing, maybe. I don't know, lawn darts. <laughs> Come on, sis, let's go. Okay. Hey, buddy. Oh, what do you want? No, just to tell you, you did a great job. It was a tough one, but you came through with flying colors. I'm so pleased to see you coming into your own. Yeah, well, thanks for setting me up for a train wreck of a weekend getaway. Do you have any idea how impossible you've made my life? Andy is furious with me, and I don't know how to make it up to her. Sam, I want to tell you that I don't put you in harm's way just to get my jollies. I put you in these situations because I have confidence in you. I want you to have confidence in yourself. Oh, that's great. And I also want to tell you, you can handle much more than you realize. You can withstand any blow. Any blow. What are you talking about? I didn't realize you were back. Uh, yeah. I, I was just about to come and find you. Mm. I want to apologize for this weekend. It got messed up in a lot of ways, and I'm really, really sorry. But I, I think we should try it again. You know, just you and me. We take another long weekend. Uh, how about this next week? I can't. What, what do you mean? You're the manager now. Just rework the schedule a little. Sam, I can't make plans for the future. Not with you. What? You know, evil has worked its way into every part of your life. Every day, it surrounds you. Demons, hell. I can't help but think that you're starting to like it. It's changing you. Or maybe it's always been in you. You just never saw it. I'm sorry, Sam. I'm really, really sorry. Andy, wait. Are you breaking up with me?